Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if it's not welcome back, then welcome. In this video, I'll be going over how to make a shirt for Roblox in paint.net. Anyway, let's get started. First, I come over here to my color picker. And now I just zoom in on the shirt, control and mouse scroll wheel, and just click it. Next, I come over to my template. Open up a new layer. Use the rectangle select tool. I just drag it from the top here. All the way down since it's like a long sleeve. We leave a bit of gap there. Right at the bottom there. That should be enough. Now I just press. Oh wait. Let's drag this layer below the background. Now I just press backspace. And. Just like that, I filled it in. All right, next, let's make the neck hole. So I open up a new layer, click on the shapes in the toolbar, select the ellipse, switch my colors at the bottom here, switch to black, and now let's draw a circle. Firstly, I drop the brush width to one. Then I just drag out a circle right here. Center it a bit. Enter. Now I just put another circle around the outside of this one. I just zoom in a bit. Just adjusting it ever so slightly. Hit enter. Now I take my rectangle select tool once again. Come over here to this border. Try it out. Just select it. And just shift it over a bit. Now I come down here. Move to selection. Now I just drag this back to right here, right about 64 on the X axis. I select the move pixels. Now I hit Control C, Control V. Now just drag this node right over there to the other side. And now you have a neck hole. Now let me just take this up a bit. Hit the enter key. Just slight adjustments. There we go. Next, I take my ellipse select tool. Come down to this red layer, click it, and just fill in the circle right here. Come over here to your move selected pixels tool. Ah, my mistake, the move selection tool. And just readjust it, just like this. Now I Come over here to the move selected pixels tool and just readjust that there. And now I hit delete. Nice. Now I come back to the neck hole. Go to layers, layer properties, overlay, and drop the opacity. Right about there should be good. Let's just ellipse select again and just clear a bit of this extra pixels right here. There we go. Nice. 
X. Let's go back to the neck hole. Open up a new layer. Take it right below this one. Now we come back to the shapes tool. Select white in the colors this time. And just put it right around this border. Now let's mirror it. Same thing as before, use the rectangle select tool, start right at the border, come into 64 on the X axis, hit the most selected pixels tool, control C, control V, and just drag it to the other side. Perfect. Now let's come back to layers, overlay, and just drop the opacity once again. Let's do about 55. Yeah, nice. Now let's go up to our shirt. Select the magic wand tool right here. Click. Make sure everything's right. Just drop the tolerance ever so slightly. Now hit delete. Now let's just delete some of the red inside these logos right here. Okay, perfect. Let me just erase right here. Okay, there we go. Let's use the rectangle select tool now. Just highlight everything right here. Hit this most selected pixels tool. Control C, new page, and Control V right there. Now let me just come back over here and revert to the original image. Okay, there we go. Now let's resize this a bit to fit our template. We come to the image tab, hit the resize. And let's go with uh Let's try 90. Control C. Open up a new layer right above the red background and hit Control V. Or it's slightly too big, so let's just undo that. Return to the image, scale it back up. Now hit resize again. Let's try 75. Control C, Control V, and let's just center it. Okay, that's much better. Just adjust it. Perfect. Hit enter. Now let's add a bit of shading. Open up a new layer. Let's take it to the very top, just below the background. There we go. Come over here to the paintbrush tool. Select black. Let's drop our brush size back down to about two and make some strokes. Okay. 
Okay, now after that, we come over to the Effects tab. Scroll down to Tool and click Smart. And this is a plugin. I'll leave it down in the description for you guys. Now let's just drop the size a bit. And now let's smudge. Okay, after we finish smudging, let's just hit OK. And there we go. Now let's come up to Layers, Layer Properties, hit Overlay, and just resize that. And let's just drop the opacity. Okay, here we go, like about right here is perfect. Let's just go through that. Yep. Next, let's come down to our base coat of red. Come back to effects. Noise tab. Hit add noise. Now let's drop this intensity a bit. And by like drop it a bit, I mean by like a lot. So let's just come down here to yeah eight is good just give it that slight appearance of fabric yeah and there you go you have a shirt basically but i have an extra step i usually just delete the background and add on my custom template without the gray lines. So let's just open up a new layer. And there we go. That's how you make a shirt in paint.net. Simple. All right, now let's go ahead and save this. Just come to my folder, save it as a PNG. Hit save. Yeah, sure. Button. And there we go.